Hello everyone. This week is interesting. This discussion post has me reflecting quite a bit. So I'm going to go through some things. I'm going to ask you guys a question and then I'm going to share a tip with the fellow leaders in the class, which we're all leaders. So I'll give you guys a tip, but let's dive in first. What role should a leader play in ensuring other team members feel free to share their thoughts and ideas? So it says feel free to share. I'm thinking more of like feel comfortable to share, feel confident to share. I have a monthly meeting every first Wednesday of every month. It's the inventory team. I have 12 team members. We meet and I'll say, here's some changes I'm thinking about implementing. What do you guys think? And then I say, what do you guys have for me? This last Wednesday, there were a few team members that had a lot of things um, that they didn't want to get off their chest. They had a lot of thoughts, ideas, questions. And I was like, why did they wait for this meeting for them to ask any of that? And the reason is because these meetings have like a level of safety on them. You're with your other team members. It's kind of like a kind of like a safe space for these ideas to come out. And I don't want my team members to have to wait for a monthly meeting to bring forth suggestions and ideas. So again, I like nine out of my 12 team members can ask me anything anytime. I really just need to develop this level of trust with the three. So if you guys have any advice on how to develop the, the level of trust with the three team members who kind of wait for these town hall meetings to voice any opinions, I'm happy to hear those, but for now we're going to dive into 100X Leader, chapter 8, page 143. Speaking of coaching, it says, what specific support or challenge do they need? What is the tendency or pattern most undermining their influence? How do you help them get to the next level? So I'm going to be intentional about challenging and supporting these team members and trying to probably just get to know them a little better. I, I, I know my team. I talk with my team every day, but maybe get them to know them a little more personally because you can't lead someone unless you really know them. So maybe there's some other things I need to unpack there to really gain that level of trust with them. Now, moving on to my tip. When I started in a leadership position, people would always bring ideas to me and then I would discuss them with them and then a lot of times we wouldn't go with their idea. You know, that's fine. But I realized that after they bring the idea, we wouldn't go with it. They would never bring me another idea. So after realizing this and talking with my leadership mentor, if someone brings me an idea and we don't go with it, I write their name down. And I'm very, very intentional about getting back with that person and asking for their opinion on something completely unrelated, another policy procedure or process. And by asking for their opinion on something else, it, it tells them that just because we didn't go with your first idea doesn't mean I don't value your opinion. And I want you to keep bringing me ideas and that's why I'm asking you, you for your opinion on this right now. So that's, some, that's a little thing that I do that I think everyone should do. And it has worked out great. I, I'm very, very intentional with this. I do this all the time. And so hopefully that'll help anyone else out there in a leadership role if, if you currently want your team members to bring you more ideas. So thanks everyone.